Hello everyone, this is Ankush Bhogna. It's been really long since I came here and did like a makeup tutorial. Uh, this is the final result, as you can see. It's a no makeup makeup look. I am going to an event right now and this is the kind of makeup look that I want to wear. And I'm gonna start from bare face and uh, show you exactly how I did this in just about 30 seconds. And just wanted to say that if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I plan to make a lot more beauty videos here. And uh, also another thing, I will be using a lot of products in this video. You may not have a lot of them. You may just have two, three products and that's absolutely okay. At no point do I want you to watch my content and feel like, feel overwhelmed that, oh, I don't have these many products. How will I ever, you know, start on my makeup journey? You can only, you can, you can just have one kajal and you can still be a makeup lover. It's not about how many products you own. Also, please understand and let's acknowledge this. Let's address this. I am... I am a beauty content creator. I get a lot of PR kits. I let, I get a lot of makeup for free that I don't pay for. So, which is why I keep trying new products. That is that is kind of my job, right? Uh, but that doesn't mean that you need to buy everything that you see on the internet. Please, please spend your valuable money only on things that actually appeal to you. Uh, okay, that's more than 30 seconds. Anyway, let's start with the video. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, let's begin. I am going to be looking there a lot because that's where my mirror is. I'm going to take a spoolie and brush down all my eyebrow hair. I always like to do my eyebrows first because that kind of frames your eyes and then if you mess up you can always quickly clean it up. Now you can take an eyebrow pencil, you can take a brow powder, you can take whatever works for you. I'm going to take this brown gel liner by MAC, it's called Dip Down. Um, it's not that brown so it kind of works because I don't like using absolutely black products because they just look very unnatural. I feel that as you can see this color really works for me. I'm just going to first uh, accentuate my arch of the brow. I'm not going to overfill it because I want it to look natural. This one is a little tricky because there's a difference. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to try my best. So I'll start with marking my arch. And uh, okay, I don't know, it looks fine. It looks fine to me. Honestly, like I'm not that great at eyebrows right now, but I'm learning. I'm winging it. I think I need a little more here. Wow, my eyebrows are really not similar. But they don't have to be. I guess that's how I'm going to keep them today. I'm going to take a clear brow gel. This is by Forest Essentials. I'm not a fan of this product, to be very honest, but this is what I have right now. So I'm just going to brush up my hair like this so that they stay in place. Look at how that instantly lifted my eyes. Carve it out like this so that it looks much neater. Radha yeah. There are a few hair strands here that keep poking up. I'm, I try my best to comb them in the direction of the brows, but it never happens. But that's how it is, I guess. I'll have to get them cut or something maybe. I don't want my eyebrows to look too heavy also, so I'm not going to fill up every little gap. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Next up, I'm using a primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I quite like it. This one's pretty expensive. I'm sure you'll find a lot of great primers in affordable uh, price range also. Uh, dot it across my face, especially under my eyes, because that's where most creasing happens. Also around my nose, like this area very 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 thin layer you don't want to cake up on your primer only because then that's too much product for your face i feel like the camera should be a little lower i feel like we could shift the camera a little like this so now to define my bone structure i'm going to contour a little bit before my foundation i'm using the cover pot number 14 by cuffs and lashes now as you can see this shade is a very grayish brown and that's because contours are always grayish brown uh, as compared to bronzers. Bronzers are always warmer browns, more vibrant because uh, a con the difference, basic difference is that a contour is supposed to create shadows on your face and a bronzer is supposed to warm up your face as if you've been out in the sun and you've been tanned. This is uh, a flat fluffy brush. I'm going to take some of this product on my brush and now I'm going to feel my bone structure. So you can see how big natural, there's a natural shadow happening right here. So. I will just accentuate that a little bit and give myself a nice defined cheekbone but don't go wild with it just just enough to 
just enough to show through the foundation that's all you don't want to go crazy with it oh shit i think it there, there was some eye shadow on this shit but anyway i'm going to use my fingers so this is the color that we need and this is where we need it yeah and now i'm going to quickly blend it with my fingers and just make sure that your contour application is more precise it can't be blended all over your face because that defeats the purpose like there's some extra here i'm going to wipe it off yeah so your contour has to be very very precise it looks like my cheekbone is a little higher um and you can already see that coming into effect so yeah i'm going to stop right there and end end at the midpoint of the eye somewhere here you can see a line right now but that's okay because abhi iske upar foundation aane wala hai there's going to be a layer of foundation on top of this so this is just to define your uh, bone structure the end of my nose the top of my nose is already very thin i don't need to contour that i just need to contour this part of my nose like this as you can see it has already slimmed down my nose a lot never forget to contour this part of the nose because that kind of lifts your nose up and now you can also contour just the ends of your forehead just to give you a uh, just to give you the illusion of like a smaller forehead i know this looks like this looks like barely anything but trust me when your entire makeup look is done it's going to create a huge difference sorry about the hair the flat eye shadow brush that i just used for concealer i'm going to take some product on my finger put it at the back of my hand to warm it up a little bit if you just put it if you just apply it directly from the pot that's going to be a very thick layer you don't want that just warm up the product a little bit on your hand and just dab it where you need it the most the job of a color corrector is to hide your the bluish gray darkness under your eyes it's different from a concealer a concealer is used on top of a color corrector a color corrector is basically to neutralize that pigmentation under your eyes so that's what i'm doing uh i also have some pigmentation around my nose so i'm just going to apply it here this brush is kind of stiff but not too much i am just going to spread it around by dabbing it i'm not dragging the product i am literally just dabbing it around like this even around the nose please 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 have patience with your color corrector because if you place your color corrector wrong um your under eyes are going to look damn weird they're either going to look very ashy or they're going to look very peachy or orangey so just make sure that you're placing your color corrector at the right spot e okay it's not brightening my under eyes it's not lightening them it's doing nothing it's just removing that bluish gray dullness under my eyes that's all it's doing this is good and uh, and also never forget to color correct this part of your eyes ye you, most people have pigmentation around the nose also so never forget to color correct that because that creates a huge difference and you will see what i'm saying in just like 5 minutes now i'm also going to use a bronzer on my face a cream bronzer for that i use a foundation stick by nykaa this is in the shade 07 i am doing this before foundation so that it kind of becomes like a one layer makeup look instead of putting foundation first and then a contour and then a uh, bronzer on top of it i'm just uh, creating like a single layer makeup look what i'm going to do is right above the contour i'm going to put this and this will give me a very sun kissed look and i'm going to take it up here right before that i'm not going to take it up the temple and i'll tell you why i'll just keep it till here and i'll blend it like this and you can already see how this is giving me like a very sun kissed tanned look um and this will look even better once i put my foundation on similarly on this side i'm going to put some bronzer sometimes it's very confusing to know ki okay you're supposed to use a contour also bronzer also blush also not really you can choose one you can choose two you can choose all three the placement matters more than you know what product you're using my temples are very narrow so this part of my face is very narrow this is okay this is narrow and this is very wide so if i put a bronzer or a contour here this shrinks even more which kind of uh, messes up the proportions of my face even more so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a bronzer here and i'm going to use a bronzer here but i'm going to leave this part of my face alone because i don't want to make this smaller and here 
to make the length of the forehead shorter and this will make the length of my forehead shorter i don't know if you can tell one more thing i like doing is i like using my bronzer as a transition shade above my eyes i'm not going to be doing any eye makeup but it always helps to tie up the entire look so always put a little bit bronzer above your eyes as a transition shade it just ties everything together and trust me you'll see this once the makeup look is complete look at that i love the effect of a bronzer then i'm going to use the mac nc30 foundation now i know the amount of foundation that you use completely depends on how much coverage you want how clear your skin is how much texture you have of course all of that but let me show you how much foundation i actually use i feel that the less foundation you use the better your makeup always looks this is what how much i took out but i think i'm going to use half of this so i'm literally just going to take this and dot it wherever i need foundation i like to keep my foundation extremely minimal because i think that's where your makeup goes wrong when you cake up too much foundation and i will put it under the contour for sure to make the contour stronger and uh and similarly i'm going to take a brush this is the f016 by cuffs and lashes and i'm just going to keep dabbing it till i don't see any foundation on my skin like this is the kind of finish that i go for where you can't even tell that there's foundation This brush is really nice because you can also use the side to blend into like thin areas like the temples and all. And uh, yeah, I'll I'll tell you why I put foundation here specifically. Sorry, I dragged. Okay, so now that there is foundation here and here, the contour and the bronzer looks much stronger now. I'll quickly blend this part. I'm leaving the under eyes right now because I'm going to put a concealer there. Yeah. And now with whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to quickly dab it over the contour and bronzer to just blend everything in because you, I really don't want to see that line. It should be very very diffused. and you can always darken it up later if you think that it's too light now look at that you can barely tell that there are three products underneath now you can be into full coverage makeup that's totally cool i also sometimes do it but uh today is not that kind of day and make sure that you also cover your color corrector very well with your foundation you don't want the peachiness to show and uh yeah i'm just quickly going to blend this I think five minutes to invest curry sakte hain yar in like a good makeup look. This is what this side looks like. So even when I look in the front, I'm sure you can see these two lines coming in. And so this is along the nose. I'll maybe put a little bit foundation. Remember, we also contoured the nose. Go over it like this. Now take the bronzer again, which is the foundation stick that I use, and just quickly go over the. contour because you want to warm up your nose a little bit otherwise it could look grey like this just remember less is more you may think you know what's going to what difference is this much product going to make but trust me it will it will make a lot of difference oh this actually looks pretty smooth what do you guys think tell me in the comments just put a little bit bronzer on this part like right above my eyebrow arch because that kind of give you the illusion illusion that your forehead is curving which makes it look shorter and smaller i'm using the pack take cover concealer in the shade birthday suit this is definitely not lighter than my skin tone it's probably the exact shade and uh, that's how i like it i don't like using concealers that are lighter than my skin because i have sunken eyes and uh, just putting a lighter concealer does not make my sunken eyes go away so always always embrace the skin color that you are and uh, use shades accordingly because nothing will enhance your beauty more than you know the right shade so i'm just going to 
dab it over the areas where I want coverage. Also here I want you to know that I'm not going to conceal it fully till my waterline because that just looks unnatural. What I'm going to do is you see this line, this dark circle line that I have, I'm just going to blur that line out with concealer. That's all. I am just putting the concealer here on that line and then taking it up where we put the color corrector. Then if you need a little more coverage anywhere, just keep adding. And then with whatever's left on your brush and whatever's on your skin, just keep start dabbing it a little ahead, like upwards. You don't want to conceal it till the top because that just looks very unnatural. It still brightened my eyes to a certain extent, but it's not making my under eyes look ashy at all. And look at the difference between the two. I think I can see a little bit color corrector here. So I'm going to conceal that quickly. See, that looks so smooth. And right now we haven't even put powder. When powder, when you put powder, you'll get a little more coverage. So just be easy with your concealer. Lines that you're seeing on your face, just put concealer on top of it and try to blur out that line like this. Now I need to blur out this line. Always put concealer on the line, dot it across and then keep tapping it right there till it blends. And once it's blended, start working your way up. And it's okay for your dark circles to not be concealed 100% because that also looks unnatural if you're going for like a very no makeup makeup kind of look like me. Um, then just you have to be okay with some flaws showing and honestly it's okay makeup is not going to change your entire face it's the whole point is to just enhance the beauty and not be ashamed of what your face looks like so don't go around concealing everything to like a crazy extent it looks so natural and so fresh it does not look like I've caked up too much product on my skin. And that's the look that I'm going for. I feel that sometimes the area around our nose or mouth is pigmented. And once you brighten that up with your concealer, it makes a huge difference. I'm going to do just that. And taking the tiniest amount possible of concealer and achieving this look. You don't need a lot of concealer. Um, I am going to use a lighter concealer. I don't have a lighter concealer, so I'm using the Danessa Myrix Yummy Blurring Balm Powder. It's a found it's a mousse-like texture which can be used as a foundation, as a concealer. But this is one shade lighter to my skin, so I'm just I just use it for brightening some places. I'm using this tiny little eyeshadow brush that I have. It's flatter. It's like a smaller version of the concealer brush that I used. Just going to pick a very a little amount, and what I'm going to do is I am going to accentuate the area under the arch of my brow only under the arch of my brow what that does is it kind of lifts your eyes a little bit just blend it around look at how this that's lifted my eye instantly now just run your finger over it so that there are no rough edges take a little bit on your finger and dab it on the center of your eyelids like this and just blend it only on the center vertically. This will just give you a halo eye effect and you're kind of using the natural pigmentation of your eyes to uh, bring out the third, like make them look more dimensional. Add a, dim add a dimension to your eyes basically. Now the eyelids definitely look bigger. What do you guys think? Yeah. Now, with the brush, what I like to do is I like to highlight this part. I'm honestly not a very highlighter kind of person, the, the glittery highlighter. So I can sometimes just use a lighter concealer to highlight some features about my face. So I'll put a dash here and I'll put a dash somewhere here. Not at the tip. I don't like that. And I'll just now start blending this like this. What this does is it highlights this part of your nose, which draws attention to the length of your nose. So it looks slimmer. Put a little bit of this product at the highest point of your face, which is the cheekbone, only here. Take your foundation brush and start blending it. For sunken eyes, I think this is the best way to brighten up 
you know people brighten up the under eyes i like to brighten up this part instead because that kind of pulls up my face and uh, you know it's it's a good effect i don't know if this camera can catch every tiny detail but yeah do you not see that this this little patch is highlighting my cheekbone so well and i haven't even used a highlighter even on even on this side even on this side look at that this is when i set my face once before powder so that all the cream and liquid products blend in i love this glow what do you guys think so if i used more quantity of these same products my face would look much brighter but because i've used the tiniest amount um this is what my face looks like and it literally looks like my skin max studio fix foundation in the shade nc30 and a powder puff and i'm just going to this is a compact powder okay so just use so i took some on my puff now i'm going to press it on the back of my hand so that all the extra foundation is off and now i will press this under my eyes under my eyes is where i need the maximum setting the rest of the face can still be dewy and look at the difference it's made the entire contour is so much blurred now do you see that do you see a difference between this under eye and this under eye makeup is amazing the area around my nose creases a lot so i'm going to set that i'm going to set my under eyes very well be very patient with powder if you take a little bit more it's going to look cakey it's not rocket science but it does require a lot of patience this is actually a full coverage compact powder which is why it's important to use less i'm also carving out the contour by putting some powder under it so the contour comes out a little bit yeah and uh, i mostly just want to get rid of the under eye shine and the shine around my laugh lines now with whatever is left on the puff just dab it over your eyes because i mean i don't know my eyelids get very oily so i always do this so that they don't look oily yeah quite like it yeah मुझे तो अच्छा लग रहा है काफी आई डू फील लाइक यूजिंग मस्कारा बट नॉट ऑन माई एपल एशेज ओनली ऑन माई लोअर लैशेज दिस इज द मे बिलीन स्काई हाई मस्कारा अमेजिंग जस्ट कैरेट आई नॉट गोइंग फॉर लाइक अ वेरी हैवी लुक आई एम जस्ट यूजिंग टू लेंथ इन माई लैशेज अल बिट यू नो वट दिस डज इज इट्स ऑल्सो हेट्स काइंड ऑफ लाइक अ डेप्थ अंडर योर आईज बिकॉज ऑफ द लैशेज एंड आई रियली लाइक दैट सो लेट्स गो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव दिस इज स्ट्रेसफुल आई लाइक इट and now another layer of a setting spray okay so that was it this is my final makeup look i know it looks like bare minimum makeup but i like spending my time tasalli se karte hue and i really hope you guys enjoyed this and you learned something from it please tell me in the comments what you thought of this makeup look if you have any suggestions any advice any feedback any any other video that you would like to see from me and um, i am trying to be more regular here please subscribe to my channel if you already haven't and if my content adds value to you i also keep uploading a lot of makeup shorts but i also plan to do a lot more longer uh, youtube videos for beauty and uh, yeah i'm i'm excited to do this uh, more often now and uh, please subscribe please like comment share you guys know the drill and i'll see you guys next time